Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code by weekly contest ninety two. It's a hard level problem, um, and I also feel the same. It's a great problem to solve. Um, again, a problem related to dynamic programming. But let's see the intuition. Okay. So the problem name is count palindromic subsequence. Okay. So given a string of uh, digits s. Okay. Return the number of palindromic subsequence of s having length five. Okay. So the length is fixed. Uh, and that that is an add on in the problem we'll see now since the answer may be very large return it modulo 10 raised to power 9 plus 7 okay note a string is palindromic if uh, it reads the same forward and backwards okay and what is a subsequence so a subsequence is a string that can be derived from another string by deleting some or no characters without changing the order of the remaining characters pretty long statement let me just give you an example so if a b c d is a string so what do you do you you keep on removing some uh, zero or more characters right and whichever new string you get that is known as a subsequence so suppose you remove this so a c d is something you get this is a subsequence uh, suppose you remove this so a d and suppose b was not removed so a b d these are all subsequence so from the original string remove any number of characters including zero and whatever the string you get that is a subsequence okay these are certain examples so like what is given one zero three three zero one so what are the uh possible palindromic subsequence of length five so here uh it is given just see here it is given so it says that <coughs> sorry it says that uh, there are six possible subsequence of length five and out of which uh two are palindromic right so which one are palindromic just see this is one this is one these are the subsequence now just see which is palindromic uh, so you see this one is there and this one is there these two are palindromic so you return two right similarly if you pick this one so obviously it's it's an example which will uh, give you uh, a number of palindromic strings so this is 21 and again this is basically so length is five right so nine 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 this is one palindromic sub subsequence and one two three four five this is one you cannot form any other so in this case answer is two right uh, this is my solution uh, but let's first go into the intuition part okay so just see here the string comprises of digits so that can go from zero to nine and the length is equals to five right length equals to five now what are the things uh, that we can do in this one right so these are five positions one two three four five right pick up these two positions okay now this particular position can have 10 possibilities 0 to 9 and this can also have 10 possibilities right so total 100 possibilities can be there now if we check for all the 100 possibilities here so since these two digits are fixed right so there are 100 possibilities so suppose you fix 1 and 2 here so you know 1 and 2 are fixed so here also you need to search for 1 and 2 right so what i mean to say once you fix these two you know what you need to find here right and this can be anything right it's it's an odd length palindromic substring so the middle element can be anything right that is one of the things this is one observation right now what can we do the length of the string is 10 raised to power 4 right this is the string so what i can do is i know the number of possibilities is pretty less right so what i can do let's see how many subsequences are there for this part what i mean to say suppose i check for 00 01 09 then 10 dot 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 till 99 right for everything just consider this part just check how many subsequence are there right and for which positions you need to check so suppose you the length of the string is l okay this is the string so for every position like for example this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 dot 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 this is l minus 1 so for every position just see that till this position how many subsequences are there ending till here obviously which are 0 0 0 1 0 2 and so on right for every for every position you do this from left hand side okay what is the benefit that we get here so if you do this so suppose you are at this index okay at this index and you know that number of 68 number of six subsequence 68 till here is some count x okay 
now you can what you can do from left you have calculated you have pre-computed something right let's call it left and the length will be l 10 comma 10 right because this is the number of possibilities number of indices that i have and these are the number of uh, the, the different number of uh, digits that i can have right similarly calculate right of l 10 and 10 right what is the benefit now so for every position in left you know that how many subsequence for every of the 100 possibilities i have ending here right similarly when you calculate it for right you know how many number of subsequences uh, you have for all the 100 possibilities when you move from right to left right this is this is uh, what you do how we, we will calculate it i'll show you the code as well but let's see the logic first okay now suppose you have done this so consider an index this i right consider an index so till here you know number of 68 is this just taking an example till here you know number of 86 is this right you know this now all you need to do is find the number of middle positions and just multiply it right because the middle element can be anything right it can be anything so that is what we are trying to do here right that is what we are trying to do here pre-computing uh, the number of uh, what do you call it number of um, subsequence for every of the 100 possibilities that I have and just multiplying it. Now, this is the main intuition, how the implementation is, let's go to that and understand it in a, a, a greater depth. Okay, so just see what I've done here. This is the length of the string. If length is less than five, obviously, you cannot have any of the subsequence, right? That is for sure. This is a variable mod because I need to take a mod of this. Now, this is um, an extra array that I've taken. Why I've taken it? Because I'll be using this array. So just see here. These are 3D arrays. Okay. These are 3D arrays. So here for every length, I'm calculating 10 cross 10. Okay. So let's see how you use it. So for every position increment, what is the current character? You increment it so that for the ith index, you add it into left and right. Let's see how, how that is done. Okay. So the first character, you have added it into count, right? Now for, for all the characters, what you'll do? See what is your current character. I goes from 1 to length. Okay. See what is your current character. Now, for all the 10 cross 10 possibilities. So, suppose you are at index i. So, just copy all the values that you have in your array from i minus 1 to i. Right. The only th the uh, what will vary at the ith index is just the digit that is present at the ith index. So, the subsequences which involve this or which end with this will be changed right we'll see how okay so all the hundred possibilities till i minus one are copied till i so this is what i have done now what about the current current number so just see what i have done here so i is the index of the string what is j so just see what i have done i am calculating hundred possibilities so this is the first digit this is the second digit how many possibilities can it have it can have zero to nine that means ten possibilities so j is basically about the ten possibilities and what about this one this can only be the current character right so my main logic here is that if my current if i, I want to calculate 100 possibilities so at the second position my character is current what about i place all the 10 characters here so what are the number of possibilities so just see what is this left of i comma j comma current plus equals to count of j okay why count of j because suppose i am standing at this index and this is basically suppose 8 right so i want to calculate how many subsequence are ending at ith index which is suppose 68 right which is suppose 68 so just see till here till 0 to i minus 1 the number of times 6 has come right that will be the count of subsequence which will have 6 as the first character and 8 as the second character right suppose i want to calculate 58 so second is fixed now I'll just see how many times from 0 to i minus 1, 5 has occurred. So that is for this count plus j because I am considering j as the first character of my subsequence, right? If it is becoming a little bit complex, just rewind the video. But this is the main logic and this is what uh, will give us the solution. Okay. So what we are doing, copy whatever you had till i minus 1. Now just calculate for i plus 1 as well, right? What do you do? You fix the second character and uh, whatever 10 possibilities you have for the first one just use the counter so that is what we took it now 
add the current character as well for the next iteration. So count of current plus plus. You did this for the left array. Do this for the right array as well. So this is what I have done. Just fill your uh, this uh, 1D array with zero again, right? Now you do for the right array. So what we are doing here? Count of s dot caret length minus one. Similarly, you you did it for the zero with one here. You do it for the n minus one at here. Now l minus length minus two to zero. Now this is your current character. Copy it from the i plus one at because you are moving from right right to left. So if you are at this position, copy all of them which are presented here. So i i plus one. Copy from i plus one at. Okay. So we have copied from i plus one at. Now what you do? Add the extra subsequence that are here. So how you will add it? Simple stuff. First character, second character. I am fixing this. There are ten possibilities here. So what do you do? Just see J. So here ith index current character and j possibilities j possibilities and current character so just do this right simple stuff uh, nothing nothing much fancy right so um, this is what we have done here now what we'll do uh, if i come down so just see you have calculated these two now you just calculate your answer now what will be your answer so the length what are the lengths that i want to consider so just see here if one two three four five the length has to be five right so what i will do i will be starting from the second one i will be starting from the second one and j is here 10 because i have 10 possibilities here also i have 10 possibilities right simple stuff so i take this as my middle uh, one two three four five this is length minus one this is length minus two and this is zero one something like this so what is my middle character i t this is my middle character this is represented by middle character so one two three four five so this is my middle character so it will go from two because zero one two and it will go till l minus three so that is why it is l minus two less than l minus two right so if this is my middle character so calculate the number of possibilities what you will do answer plus left of i minus one right of g and k these are the possibilities that i am checking so if this is j and this is k so for the right hand side it will be k and j and this is middle character simple right so uh, left of i minus 1 jk and right of i plus 1 kj and then take the mod and this will be your final answer so iterating for all the characters considering it to be middle characters and then calculating the uh, subsequence that you have calculated right so this is one so it is sort of a 3d dp in this case right but a very very good problem to solve i would say so i hope you learned something new from this video this was a very different problem I, I i feel so and that can be seen by the accuracy as well so do support the video by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well if you find the content of this channel useful um, also in case of any queries please do mention that into the comments i'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye